I want to lay a foundation in this video series in reference to the Zettelkasten method. Within this particular video slash video series, we'll go through the, the Zettelkasten method as it is currently the best method I have found in order to create a knowledge base or second brain or knowledge management system, however you want to describe it. Regardless, I like it. So within this series, we'll do what it is, explain it, etc. We'll go into details as well, and we'll look at the origin of history, where it came from, how it actually became publicized, and why have we not heard about it until up to this current century, as well as the implementation of what it was and how we can more importantly implement it into our daily lives now. So the Zettelkasten method, what is it exactly? Well, there's a lot of terminology and there is a lot of defining definitions toward it, but it all revolves around similar thing. So essentially, the Zettelkasten itself is a German word indicating a slip note. This was provided essentially from the creator Nicholas Luhmann and where he commented that he has many slip notes and his Zettelkasten method. One way of saying it, it's a note-taking or personal knowledge management or a method to take notes and manage that information. I will also add it's a personalized way, meaning that the information and contents within a Zettelkasten is going to be different based upon the individual's interest and own thoughts, etc. It's a long-term storage creation of that knowledge and holistic method how to deal with said knowledge. If we look at these slip notes visually, we can see that the slip notes will be placed into a catalog of events or a box, hence slip notes in a box. Those like me would recall back in the day, prior to the electronic systems, libraries would actually categorize each of the books via a card within a box based upon subject or content. If we look at the actual slip note itself, it contains three parts, the unique identifier to uniquely qualify each slip note individually as well as the body which would contain the actual note meaning your idea or the information that you want to contain and ending it with the citation and references much like your MLAs etc. All of this compiled together will actually in hopes finding relationships between ideas and, and information creating thus a knowledge base and seeing some information between different subject categories. As you continue to build upon your information system, this of course will expand into more and more information for you to pull from later on. This is exactly what you want, but it can become a little bit overwhelming also. Regardless, the whole idea is to build upon that information database in order for you to personally retrieve that and then create that as a knowledge itself, which brings up to the next point, information and knowledge is totally two different things. Information by design is a knowledge of facts learned as opposed to knowledge itself is familiarity, awareness, and more important, understanding gained by that study or that experience, a topic which I'll probably build upon later on in video. Regardless, the no thief, however skillful, can rob one of knowledge, and that is why knowledge is the best and safest treasure to acquire. Love the quote. The creator of the Zettelkasten method is Nicholas Luhmann. Not only was this man productive, he was very highbrow as far as his particular niche. A social scientist and philosopher, this guy was into systems theory and considered the most important of in the 20th century. Just how productive was he with the utilization of the Zettelkasten method? Within his lifetime, he created 58 books among hundreds of articles. Astoundingly, even after his death in 1998, he had more books already created in process due to this method. You can pause here to look at his quote. But at the end of the day, for productivity, you have to enjoy what you're doing. And this was part of his productive means with the Zettelkasten method. If he got bored or tired of a certain subject that he was writing upon, he just moved on to another one until he enjoyed that and back and forth. Crazy. 
While the creator of the Zettelkasten method is Nicholas Luhmann, it wasn't really presented to the world till much later. This is not due to the fact that Luhmann actually promoted it everywhere he went, but the fact that he has a small niche being a German social scientist. It actually was not presented to the world primarily until the book How to Take Smart Notes entered into the public arena by Dr. Sanke Ahrens. While the book itself is around 178 pages and does focus on smart notes, at its core is the Zettelkasten method. Additionally, with this book, um, it focuses on the fact that you don't want to just simply write down notes as is, a dictation per se, because that's a waste of time. And it also focuses on do you really want to feel smarter or actually become smarter. So instead of just replicating what you hear or see, you actually take that concept into your own writings.